Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Said Aman Ibrahim and my topic is about the good agriculture fetish management on the pit soil area in the oil palm plantations. First of all, what is the good agriculture fetish management and what is the pit soil? Good agriculture fetish management is the management system that implement according to the standard and regulation to control to reduce the hazard, the risk and also the impact on the agriculture productions. So why do we need the good agriculture practice management? Good agriculture, good agriculture practice management can improve the productivity, the safety, the wellness, the food security and also the environment conservation in the pit soil area. So you guys already know about the good agriculture practice management. How about the pit soil? Pit soil is the soil that contain at least 65% of organic matter and below that 35% of the minerals. Pit soil has been generally recognized as the law of agriculture capability because of the serious limitation of the crop growth. This include the high table of water or floodings the height of acidity and also the height of porosity due to the very low of bulk density, micronutrient deficiency, the low of fertility and also the nutrient imbalance. So the good agriculture better management need to be done in the physical area in order to achieve the higher yields and also the productivity. This includes the better of soil conservation, the better of the water drainage system, the better of fertilizer application, and also the implement of integrated pest management. So I will go one by one of this good agriculture practice management techniques. Before we go to the good agriculture practice management in the pit area, first of all, we need to identify either our farm as the pit soil type or not. Of course, we need to have a basic knowledge to recognize it. To recognize the pit soil type, you can watch the video slide after this. So, Tips to identify peat soil. Dig about 4 to 6 inches of deep downward to the soil that want to test. After that, at that deep make a scoop of ball and hold it. Press the soil ball and if it feels like spongy, it is more likely a peat soil. It also can differentiate at the color of the soil because peat soil is very dark brown or almost black. This figure show the different from the other soil type. Identify how the moist of the soil Peat soil is usually feels wet or waterlogged because it retains water. At the spot area, collect one or two cups of soil and combine it together in a plastic bag and seal the plastic. After that, send or take the soil sample to be analysis. The result of the analysis will show the soil's pH level and also nutrient content. Peat soil usually has a pH value of 7 or less with is very acidic. Next we go to good agricultural practice management in peat soil explained by Syed Ahmed. Okay now we go to the first good agriculture practice management which is the soil compaction. So one of the good agriculture practice management in the peat soil area is the soil compaction before the planting of the seedling. So the main purpose of the soil compaction is to improve the soil structure. So the benefit of the soil compaction is increasing the bulk density, adding up the mass per volume and reduce the leaching of the fertilizer. And the soil compaction also can help to reduce the early palm leaning and also increase the nutrient supply and because of that of course it can increase the productivity of fresh plants in the pit area. Karakteristik gambut disiasati dengan menggunakan metode pemadatan atau kompaksi. Tujuannya untuk menurunkan porositas material gambut sehingga air dari bagian bawah mampu naik hingga ke permukaan. Ketika kondisi ini terjadi, 
material gambut menjadi lembab dan sulit terbakar meskipun di musim kemarau. Hal itu ditunjukkan Dr. Luli Miling, Direktur Tropical Pit Research Laboratory Unit Malaysia kepada sejumlah wartawan dan rombongan gabungan pengusaha kelapa sawit Indonesia. Dr. Meling membuktikan metode pemadatan dan pengaturan air bisa menghindarkan gambut dari api. Nah, mengapa masih terbakar? Nah, sebab antara sebabnya paras air dia ada, tapi lubang di atas paras air itu terlalu besar, longgar. Jadi air tidak dapat naik. Nah, kalau diketat, air dia naik kan? Nah, dia pakai kapilaritas. Compassion are be done by using the packet excavator in the platin roll. As you can see at the picture here. Okay, now we go to the water drainage system. The second of the good agriculture practice management is the water management. Water management is the most important thing in the fissile area. The main purpose of the water management is to maintain the water table at 50 to 70 cm to avoid the soil become very dry and very wet. Drainage system memang banyak. Memang perlu drainage system dekat pit. Kalau tidak, air patung penuh. Tak boleh. You nak, bila dah harvesting, you nak evacuate buah, you nak buat keluar pun susah. Jadi drainage system banyak. Mungkin dua row satu parit ataupun empat row satu parit ke. Gantung pada kondisi ladang lah. Good drainage system has a good of the main drain. The collection drains the field drains and also the implement of the water gates as you can see at the picture here is the good drainage system layout that recommended by the MPB. okay the main drain specification specification that recommended by the MPB. the collection drain specification that recommended by the MPB. The field drain specification that recommended by the MPOB and also the water gate. The main purpose of the water gate is to get the sufficient water in the dry seasons. And now we go to the third good agriculture better management, which is the better application of fertilizer management. Now we go to the third good agriculture practice management which is the better fertilizer applications. Manuring is the most important thing in the oil palm plantation to increase the yield and productivity. However, they are a the bit difficult to manage the manuring in the pit soil area because of the pit soil is the high in porosity. Of course, it will cause the leaching of fertilizer. They are the bit difficult They are the bit different of managing the manuring in the pit soil area compared to the soil types. Before we go to the uh, fertilizer application in the pit area, let's watch the video. I am interviewing the Tuan Mota, the manager of Tabuaji Estates. Pembacaan ada biasa tak? Pembacaan pembacaan biasa. Ini berbeza. Berbeza. Ha, Meski kalau tanah mineral ni kita tak perlu banyak trace element. Kalau dekat dekat pit soil kita perlu trace element. Copper kita perlu. Zinc, copper. Kalau mineral mana kita pakai zinc dengan copper ni? So amount dia lebih lebih tinggi lah daripada tanah mineral. Amount dia tak amount dia di dia tak banyak. Copper ni lebih kurang dalam 150 gram je, zinc lebih kurang dalam 100 gram macam tu je. Oh, tapi setiap tahun kita kena letak. Macam tanah mineral memang tak ada zinc dengan copper. Tanah mineral cuma normal MPK je. Dengan borok, borek je lah. Borok. Borek. Tuan Mota has stressed that the trace element which is the copper and zinc are important to apply in the pit soil area. Now we go one by one the fertilizer application for the stage in oil pump plantation which is the replanting stage, immature stage and also the method stage. For the replanting stage, the method of apply the fertilizer is by apply the CRRP, the copper sulfate, the zinc sulfate inside the planting hole as you can see at this picture. And then after plant the seedling 
apply the line around the pump. This is the amount of fertilizer that recommended by the RISDA. For the immature pump stage, the method of application in the immature pump stage is by broadcasting with the uniform of application. This is the type of fertilizer and the amount of fertilizer that recommended by RISDA in the first year. In the second year and also the third year. For the matured stage, the application of fertilizer are recommended at 2 to 3 meters from the pump bowl. And also are recommended to apply the fertilizer at the front hips as you can see at the feature. This purpose to minimize the runoff of fertilizer. There are also the method to protect the fertilizer by the slow release application. This method can be done by make the hole at the base of fertilizer bag and then place it at 2 meter from the pump bowl. So you can see in this picture. And then the amount of fertilizer is 2 bag per pump. The fertilizer can be released about 4 to 5 months after the applying. Now we go to the last good agriculture practice management in this video which is the implement of integrated pest management. Integrated pest management is the method to control the pest and disease to reduce the economic injury. The integrated pest management can reduce the overusage of pesticides to minimize the impact on beneficial and non-targeted organisms. The chemical treatments are only be carried out by using the sedative pesticide at the low rate and also the timely application to minimize the impact on the environment. Before we go more detail the integrated pest management in the pit area, let's watch the video I am interviewing the Tuan Mota. Today is the IPM integrated pest management. Uh, pest apa yang selalu menyerang pit soil? Pest pit ni memang banyak. Macam saya cakap tadi, anai-anai. Anai-anai uh, paling, paling, paling banyak. Kalau kat minder, tak, tak nampak anai-anai. Betul. Kalau anai-anai, memang anai-anai pit. Lepas tu, kira tabar. Betul. Kira tabar. Kira tabar, kira tabar ni, ha, dia, dia serang tandat. Secara, uh, secara dia punya kawalan kontrol. Kita tak pasal spray dekat tandat ni lah. Tembak degree. Spray dekat tandat tu, sampai spray pun nak spray betul-betul basah. Kalau tidak, kacau. Pasal tira tabar ni, dia dia pemalu. Dia tak akan keluar. Dia malam pun dia keluar. Dia takut dengan cahaya matahari. Jadi dia, tempat, tempat dia, dia duduk kat tandang kosong. Dia daripada dalam. Dia tak boleh basah. Tuan Mota has point that the serious pest that attacking in the oil pump plantation on the pit soil area is the termite and tirataba monk. So to control the termite and tirataba monk by using the integrated pest management I'll be explained by the video slide after this. Integrated pest management There are several management of IPM in the oil palm in the peat area. Termite control and tyrotable management. Termite control. In peat soils with existing termite colonies, termite attack on palms generally occurs at 7 to 8 months after planting but occurrence as early as 3 months has been reported. Termite census and spray procedure. Census all palms. 100% census, every month by a trained PND census team. Other field practice, harvesters and loose fruit collectors can be trained to assist in early detection of termite infested palms. For infested palms, spray with fipronil 5.0%. Organization of workers. Census procedure. Termite census 100% in all block. Tie a piece of raffia string at the front of the tip of an infested palm. On the first palm of a row with infested palm, indicate the number of infested palm by the same number of knots. Spray procedure. Spray half the fipronil solution into the spear or crown region till wet. 
Spray the other half of the fipronil solution around the trunk and base of the infested palm. Tire of a bunch mop control. Tire of a census procedure. First stage census done FFB platforms during FFB grading. When infested bunches more than 5%, carry out systematic census, census 10%, all trees every 10 rows. Interval of census every month. Tire of a sprayer procedure. Harvest all seriously infested bunches first. Ensure all bunch all completely harvested. Carry out a round of sanitation pruning together with removal of rotten bunches at same time. Target spray on the infested bunches, not front faces. Allocate one sprayer per palm row. Top up pump at the end of each row with DT at 1G slash liter water. Stop spraying when 95% bunches are shining. That's all about integrated pest management for termite and tyrant of a month. Okay, understand? Okay, now we go to the issue that occur in the oil pump plantation on the pace of area, which is the farm learning and also the limitation of mechanization. One of the issues on the pit soil area in the oil pump position is the farm learning. Even with the good of soil compaction, farm learning it still occur because of the soil structure itself have a law of the capability to hold the trees. It usually occur six to seven years after the planting seedling. So the good agriculture practice management need to be conducted to overcome the farm learning problem in the pit soil area. Dari segi isu dalam pit soil ni selalu kita tengok uh, pokok selalu tumbang. Memang lining, condong. Uh, lining. Uh. So apa uh, apa cara nak mengatasi ni? Hmm, itulah ada yang tak, orang tanam dekat pit ni hole in hole di korek lubang besar apa tu lubang dalam kat dalam ada yang tanam dia tanam selanting siap-siap time tanam tu lubang ah, dia dah penting ha nah. oh. tapi saya tak tahu berjaya ke tak berjaya tu dulu ada dia tanam condong tak siap katakan arah mana jadi semua lain tu condong je nanti bila dia condong tu dia akan naik so mana kalau tiba-tiba dah tanam condong tu tapi still macam nak tumbang ada apa-apa buat tak kita kita akan buat mounding untuk balik akar tu tapi kalau pokok tu dah berbuah dia akan stress dah dia akan Yield dia tu akan kurang lah sikit oh, Lepas tu bila akar tu dah naik develop balik semua dalam masa 2 tahun Balik normal okay. Mustak nak kena Akar tu nak kena timbuskan balik Jangan bagi akar tak dedak So they are the prevention of the palm learning And also they are the management of the palm learning after the pollen So to prevent the palm learning The slant hole planting technique Are recommended for the deep feed soil So this uh, technique can reduce the loss of profit of fresh fruit buns because of the learning and the uprooted tree and it also not affected the harvesting part in the field as you can see at the picture here the technique so the management of the plant learning after the pollen soil molding need to be carried out in order to minimize the root drying and also the promote the new root development so, so the soil mounding need to be carried out outside the pump circle as you can see the pitchy here okay now we go to the second issue which is the limitation of the mechanization okay for the second issue on the basal area in the oil pump position is the limitation of mechanization so, there are the introducing of the suitable mechanization which is the water transport of fresh fruit buns. Water transport, water transport of the fresh fruit buns on the pistol area where there are no or suitable source of a suitable root building material and they are the available of the water source. As you can see at the video after this.
interesting of the machinery using the low ground pressure tire as you can see in the picture here and also the introducing of the tracked machine for the soft ground area as you can see at the picture here so this machinery can overcome the limitation of the mechanization on the piece of area on in the oil pump plantation Okay, that's all for good agriculture practice management in the pit soil area which is the soil compaction, the better of water management, the better of fertilizer application and also the implement of integrated pest management for the termite and also the terata bound months. For the recommendations, the good observations are needed from the management team to ensure the useful of good agriculture practice management. That's all for me. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys get the input and also add up your knowledge. My name whoa, is Saeed Ahmad Ibrahim and Assalamualaikum. Goodbye.